What's up, boys? Today we're gonna be doing a play review on Maxim Lesch. I don't know how you say it. I don't know how to say anything. Really, these names just keep, they, they put me in the bin. But this card is incredible. 95 pace. 95 pace, boys. He, I think, I'm pretty sure he's the fastest center back in, in FIFA, FIFA 22. Well, yeah, FIFA 22. He's the fastest center back. 95 pace. There's, there's very few attackers with 90 pace, 95 pace. And this guy's got high, medium high work rates as well. The best work rates for a defender. And he's six foot two. I can, I can tell you, I can tell you. I used him in game, in foot champs. And my God. This guy was incredible. I use him alongside Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, Rudiger. Rudiger is one of my favorite center backs this year. I love that card so much. And this guy was incredible. I, I use him on 8 chem because I couldn't get the links to work. I got a soft link from Rudiger and a soft link from Bender Sar. But he, he still was incredible. He was literally doing everything. Making good tackles, catching up to people, muscling people off the ball. He's also 6'2", so that's a good height for a center back. Rudiger 6'3", so he's 1 inch underneath and that's perfect, perfect height. And you look at the in-game stats, 92 acceleration with 97 sprint speed. On basic, the 97 sprint speed gets boosted to 99, which is incredible. Just an absolute... I don't even think it matters at this point. This pace is just as good as it gets, so... It, can, it honestly can't get better. Passing on this card is actually pretty good. Short passing is 80, gets plus 5 with basic. Long passing is, is 79, gets plus 5 with basic. And those are pretty much the only two passing stats that I would think... That I think are the most affected in the center back position that really if you don't have good stats there then there definitely will be be some some consequences if you know what i mean especially when there's a team press or just like those guys that just they did two man press like like it's no tomorrow they have no no regard for human life dribbling stats are are not great but you don't need good dribbling stats when you have good passing stats on a center back the concern when you have a player with that good a pace is that he will not be able to match it on the defensive end and i can assure you that is not the case because this guy was winning a lot of tackles. He rarely got muscled off the ball. There were a couple times he got muscled off the ball for like half a second, but I just spammed L2, spam shield, and he ended up winning it back, which was really good. He's got 82 interceptions, 81 defense awareness, and 83 standing tackle. He did make a pretty good slide tackle in one of the games that I that I play out. You'll see it in the clips, but 80 sliding tackle, and most of these, it's, it's weird to see defensive stats that are this rounded around the base defensive, defensive stat as a whole. Usually they're skewed. Usually they're like, 87 standing tackle and like 75 defensive awareness, but it's all pretty rounded around 80. Yeah, the highest stats 83 and the lowest stats 80. So it's it's actually really solid to have such a well-rounded defensive side of his game and his stamina is 80, which is really good. Let me look at uh, Schlotterbeck. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember his headliners card. He has 75 stamina. He's also on a really good silver star center back, and this guy's got 80. So he is. More than enough stamina to keep up with these new pacey attackers for the 90 minutes because no one's ever... If you're subbing off a center back, I'm concerned for your well-being. But <laughs> strength is 86. is a plus 5 on basic. I'm really happy about that considering the aggression is a bit low. I wish the plus 5 was on the aggression and not the strength. But you do you get what you get and I think it's okay. Strength going all the way up to 91 is definitely, definitely a plus considering... He's super fast, and it feels like fast players sometimes get bumped off the ball easier. I don't know. It's a weird, a weird little mechanic. He didn't have a super stocky body type. I was thinking, like, players that are super strong, like Nick Lasul, the PK, that they're just big, stocky guys that you can't get the ball off of. You just can't. This guy, he didn't really feel like that. He felt more on the slim side, still being tall, but slim. So even though there was that strength, I felt like he would get muscled off a little bit. Not a lot. He still was really good. I kept, I, I didn't keep, I don't think I kept a clean sheet because it was just, I don't even know, man. This game just, it does my head in foot champs, but he was doing really well. There definitely wasn't any, I wasn't pointing him out as a flaw for why I was conceding, if that makes any sense. I was conceding through bad team defense, not due to anything this car was doing. He was saving me goals at certain points. Uh, through balls, attackers threw on goal. This guy would, if anyone's going to catch him, he's going to catch him. He is the fastest center back in this game, I am pretty sure. Let's just look at concept center backs real quick for just the entire game and see who who is the like who is the fastest. If you Ruben Diaz team leader has 87 pace, Marquinhos team leader has 90 pace, Prime Maldini has 86 pace, Mid Maldini has 82 pace. The rest of them don't have the yeah, 82 pace for uh, that Van Dyke card. Bobby Moore 68 pace. Yeah, there's no one that even really comes close. Flashback for Ryan 88 pace, Koulibaly 86 pace. Who else? 
There's really no other center backs that even come close. I think Marquinhos is the only... Oh, Lacroix has 93 pace. I think Lacroix might... Lacroix is probably the second fastest, then Marquinhos, then this Donny, and then Rudiger has 85 pace, which is... He just feels way faster than 85 pace. But it's such a good card. It's a free card as well. You get him from doing the objective. I think this was the... This is a squad battles one, not the silver lounge one. It's definitely a bummer that it's a squad battles one and not the online mode. But you get, you get what you get. At least you know it's going to take a finite amount of time. You know you're not going to have to sweat it out. It was pretty easy. You get a full silver team, go into squad battles on professional difficulty. And I think it was four outside the box goals, win five games, and score in five games or assist a certain amount of goals or something. It wasn't, it wasn't anything crazy. And you get a silver card. Honestly, not even a it's I don't want to label him as a silver card because this guy could make it into your teams. He's Bundesliga, German. About, he gets strong links to Neuer, strong links to Kimmich, Goretzka. Who else? Niklas Sul. He's, he's endless, endless options for this guy. Not too many player. There's no player traits to really speak of. He's got injury prone player traits. So nothing positive on that front. But that's going to do it, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the player review. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.